I Am Legend had a pretty final ending for Will Smith's character, and yet he's coming back for the sequel. Here's why this isn't as crazy as it seems. In a matter of weeks, Will Smith has been confirmed for not one but two sequels to the most notable films in his career. Besides reuniting with Martin Lawrence for a fourth Bad Boys film, it was announced this week that Smith would be returning to the world of I Am Legend. Only this time we'll have some backup. Handled once again by director Francis Lawrence, who helmed the first film back in 2007, the sequel will see Smith fighting off the end of the world alongside Creed 3 star and director Michael B. Jordan. Ok, so you're probably remembering the fact that Smith's character Robert Neville blew himself up at the end of the first film. Neville applied the last nail to his coffin personally to provide a cure for humanity and put an end to those pasty same-looking CGI Darkseekers, becoming a legend in his own right. You know, hence the name. Thanks to I Am Legend's infamous alternate ending, however, Neville is back in action. So what's happened in the unused scene that allowed this to happen? Available to anyone who owns a DVD player, the original home release of I Am Legend came with an alternate ending that is now being slipped back into the official canon timeline. This secret and slightly more upbeat finale saw Neville trade with the alpha male Darkseeker in exchange for his mate, on whom Neville has been experimenting in order to find a cure for the disease. I'm sorry. <laughs> After the creature flees with his group, Neville is shocked to realize that the Darkseekers are intelligent and capable of love. Neville, who has been capturing and testing Darkseekers, has become a legend in the eyes of the infected who fear and loathe him as a monster. From there, Neville and Alice Braga's character Anna head to Vermont, hoping to find other human survivors. All's well that ends well, basically. With this alternate exit back on the board, however, what could it mean for the newly planned sequel? And what part does Michael B. Jordan have to play in it? The alternate I Am Legend ending leaves many gaps that the new installment will need to fill. For one, even after finding a cure, Neville's perspective has changed, having accepted that this new subspecies of humans don't want to be cured. Given that I Am Legend 2 is set years after the first film, this idea could cause some friction with other human survivors, Jordan's character included. It would certainly make for a welcome change of pace to see two survivors facing off in a battle of post-apocalyptic ideology. That said, seeing these two stars work together side by side would be a treat in itself. Still, if they really want to throw out a curveball, the movie could do with the original Darkseekers and have Jordan be a new breed of monster squaring off against Smith's seasoned survivor. Who knows? Of course, while I Am Legend wasn't a huge success the first time around, the box office is currently thriving by way of legacy sequels. So there's a chance, if done right, that this could enjoy the same levels of hype as, say, Top Gun Maverick. Only with fewer jets and more CGI vampires. However, I Am Legend 2 turns out, though, it's nice to see the original's first and arguably superior ending finally getting the official recognition that it deserves.